Okay, hello everyone. Uh, thanks for attending this meeting. Uh, and the meeting will last about half an hour. It will not take take a long time. Uh, recently, a small small number of clients have no problem. Let we box. We box after download the network configuration uh, using USB. Then the VBOX uh, can't be detected by by our software, VNet software. Uh, for this problem, our IMD have already packaged a new software, and uh, it will be released within a month. And the new software can solve this problem. Uh, but uh, uh, before before it. We recommend that user to use our LAN to to download the software, uh, to download the network configuration. Use LAN to do it. And for updating firmware, we also recommend to use LAN to update it, or we can also do it online. In configuration. Here we have a version, and uh, we can check for update, and update here. If some clients have already have this USB problem, uh, please contact me, and I will help to deal with it. This is the first thing I want to say. Can you understand? Uh, if we box IP uh, not detecting, just uh, contact me, and I will help to deal with it. Uh, in order to prevent such a problem, we recommend to use LAN to to do network configuration as, as much as possible. Okay. And the second thing is about configuration-free net VNet access. It means that the VBox shipped after July last year can be direct uh, bind to our server, any server. After connecting the uh, Ethernet to the box, uh, uh, without, without uh, selecting the server in configuration first. Before we, we get a new box, we, box, we, need, to, uh, we need to select the server here. And download, download the configuration to VBox, then bind to our VNet. But now we can directly bind to our server, just to to make sure no VBox have have Ethernet. If VBox is is connected with 4G or Wi-Fi, uh, then we need to we have to enable. In here first. Uh, if the V box is using Ethernet, we don't need to select the server in network configuration first. We can just uh, bind it to our VNet. Uh, only in the V box uh, shipped. Uh, after July last year, have this function, and also we can do the network configuration online here in configuration network uh, this interface. Uh, after changing this uh, network configuration, remember to click save. 
to send the <coughs> Sentinel network configuration to our VBox. We can do it online also, not only here. And anyway, anyway, please, please make sure that power supply of VBox is stable during download downloading the network configuration. So do you have a question about this? It's 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 very easy. I think many of many people of you have already used this this function. But may there, but maybe there will have a few clients don't know don't know this. So you can tell tell to them. Uh, that's all I want to say today. If you have any any VBox problem, please contact me. Uh, my name is Jim. Uh, thanks for your listening. Today's meeting is over. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your time.